Hey Anthony, I spoke with the CEO of A Woman's Choice and she says they began seeing an influx of calls from women who are worried and want to book appointments as soon as possible. Now, a reminder, the high court opinion is still a draft right now and not final, but the CEO tells me they're preparing as if the decision has been made. I had an abortion 23 years ago and it saved my life. Um, and it led me to this work now. Kelly Flynn, CEO of A Woman's Choice, an abortion provider in Jacksonville, says she doesn't know what she would have done if safe legal abortions had not been available to her. I wasn't at a place in my life where I was ready to be a mother, where I was ready to have a family. Um, I still had big dreams, big hopes, uh, things that I wanted to accomplish. Um, I have, a, I have a son now that I love more than anything and, and all of my attention goes to him um, and of course my work. So I feel like that everything kind of came full circle for me. Hearing other women may not have that option, she says is concerning to say the least. What we know right now is that we have to continue to provide safe abortion care um, for as long as, as long as we can. We are going backwards with this, not forwards. Flynn says one of her biggest fears is for women who don't have the resources to seek a safe abortion. When you're in a desperate situation, you do desperate things. And so, you know, what we're afraid of is just going back to um, pre-row when you have hospital wings that are dedicated for um, botched abortions. Um, patients coming in with infections from trying to self-abort. For now, she has this message for women. I think it's important for everyone to be very public and be very vocal um, and speak to your local representatives about how important this decision is. I reached out to Jacksonville for Life, a pro-life nonprofit in the area, about the news today. They told me that they have no comment. Americans United for Life, an anti-abortion law firm located in Washington, D.C., issued a statement that read in part, quote, they applaud the Supreme Court courage for abolishing its abortion precedents. It goes on to say the group will work towards ending all abortions. Reporting in the newsroom, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. Now the